Not only was she getting dug out by another man, she was getting dug out by his best friend. Talking about she's disgusted that she had a baby with him. It's always those that's close to you, that want what you have, that envy what you have. YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Steph. Welcome to another video. Top, we're gonna dive into a cold video. But before we do, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Steph is Cold. Follow me on Twitter at Steph is Cold as well. If you want one on one consultations with me, Steph is Cold.com. Today, we're gonna do a video on Andrew Wiggins' situation. I just wanna dive into to a cold topic and um, we're gonna react to this video right here. Play this, this young guy, I mean, this older fella. Uh, he was uh, giving out his two cents on why Andrew Wiggins is not playing. So without further ado, let's play this video clip and let's get it. Yeah, but uh, let's talk about it. We got Andrew Wiggins play for the uh, the Golden State Warriors. And everybody been wondering why he's been out not playing. But come to find out his wife cheated on him with his best friend. And he been thinking that two daughters, he is, the baby, they ain't even here. I mean, how damn low down could you be? I mean, these women are something else. Now she been married to this man, had this man thinking the baby is his. And I, don't, I think they had the baby during high school, but he thinking the two kids and he had the two daughters and come to find out it ain't his kid, it's about his best friend. I mean, if these women ain't vindictive, manipulating, and they want to hide by men, how can you sit there and look in that man's face and tell that man that baby is his and know it ain't his? So Andrew Wiggins ain't been playing for Golden State because he been hurt. And they gave they gave him a leader option because uh, he found out his wife was cheating with his best friend. They found out the two daughters they had together, even not even his. I mean, God, man, I don't know what to say. Now, that's why I don't trust no woman. I don't trust nobody. I'm period. That's why I'm not mad. I don't trust nobody. I'm, that's why I'm single. Why I am single today? These women, hey, you can't you can't trust them for you can see them. Throw them in the under and let them hit the ground. Cause my thing is this, and they want to have my men. How evil could you low down, be that low down? You know I already knew through high school and college that them babies won that, that were here. You gonna have that man thinking them babies here. So I guess he went on and did a DNA test to find out them babies ain't even here. Man, that man hurt. That's why he ain't been playing for the Golden State Warriors because that man hurt. I know I'll be, I'll be hurt too. You married to somebody they deceive you like that. Not with somebody you don't know it and make it even worse. Put, put gas on, on, on the fire. The man best friend. I mean, damn, that's a damn shine. I, I mean, I just had to come on my street talk to him and talk about that. That's the sad thing. And then they want to talk about men, men insecure. They don't trust women. They, we, we, are, we, this and that. Man, come on, you hear these stories all day long. And they, and, and they have no remorse for what they did. He wasn't pleased with me. He didn't do what I asked him to do. He made me cheat. He didn't make you cheat. You could have got out the divorce. You ain't had to be with him. Women got a scoop for everything they do. The reason why they don't do is they, they got they got they got a scoop for everything they do. You know they got. A That's real talk. Um, there's something else I want to share. Um, his girlfriend, um, actually made a tweet on her page. Basically, her tweet said the internet is really a sick place. The internet makes me sick. With the with the throw up emoji. Yeah with the throw up emoji now we know andrew wiggins is is in my opinion um golden state warriors x factor um if golden state warriors wants to win again they need him back <laughs> um i believe andrew wiggins is a, is a phenomenal basketball player on both ends of the floor um and it was great watching him play last year in the finals, man. It was great watching the Warriors win. You know, <clears throat> shout out to my Bucks. <laughs> we could have won if we had Middleton. But, you know, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's a different different time of different day. But she, she made a tweet that said that the world is a sick place. Right? Now, when Will Smith and Jada Pickett was going through whatever they was going through, you know what I'm saying? Will Smith took up for his woman. And, and, and Will Smith defended his woman. As At nature, every man should do that. Every man wants to defend his woman. But the, don't women do the same thing? Doesn't a woman want to defend her man when everybody is casterizing her and wondering what the hell is going on? So for those that don't know, Andrew Wiggins has been out for damn near almost two months now right and you know i thought that you know he was out due to some sort of foot injury or something like that but you know if we go look at the headlines 
in the NBA, he's not in the injury reports. And um, I read something online that says that um, Steve Kerr and them said that he's out for um, a serious issue, a family issue at that at that matter. So, so let's let's break down these two things, right? You have a family issue, right? Now, there's on there's two types of family issues that we know of: a death, a death in the family, or some 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 sort of some sort of PTSD, some sort of heartbreak or cheating, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Nobody died in his family. So since nobody died in his family what's really going on what's really the truth in the matter of what's really happening what's really going on and you know rumors are rumors but nba rumors are different in fact i read something on twitter that said that um uh the source was a reliable source coming from inside the nba who all remembers when you know, I hate bringing this up, but who all remembers when, you know what I'm saying, Delonte West was sleeping with LeBron James' mom. And it was all over. It was everywhere. But it was rumors. And everybody kept that shit on a down low and kept it low because it's LeBron's mom and they never brought it up. But it was true. It was true. When a player is going through mental mental situations, you know, basketball is mental. And you guys have to understand, like, guys are saying, oh, he's soft and he, he makes 33 million or 19 million, something like that. And if I made that much money, you know, I, 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 I would be hooping. I'm going to tell you all this, man. Andrew Williams looks like a really nice guy, humble guy, stand up guy. He's been with this woman since high school. Do you know how much basketball puts on on your mental right like confidence has to do with your mentality you ever had that day when you was at work and you broke up with your girlfriend or you was arguing with your girlfriend my nigga and everything just just stopped see it's a difference when you are in a relationship with a woman and y'all don't have kids and no i don't have kids and there's a huge difference when you're in a relationship with a woman and y'all do have kids because now she's a mother now she represents you in your last name and your kids at the same time not only was she getting dug out by another man she was getting dug out by his best friend and see it's always those that's close to you that want what you have that envy what you have and you know i i, I just wonder bro like i never understood the mentality of that it is so many women in the world but you're so greedy and, and thirsty and lack morals that you're just gonna sleep with I'm just going to sleep with my best friend's woman. I bullshit y'all not, bro. I had a best friend, G. And he knew that me and my ex was in a relationship. And as soon as me and her broke up, guess what he did? He got her pregnant. And, you know, I'm blue pill at the time. So I don't really see the signs like that. But I'll never forget he was doing like... You know the the virtual signaling of eating the guts, eating the wall like you do to do this, and then you do the tongue, do the tongue. He was doing that, but he was doing it in a playful manner in front of her. Shit, me and her break up. You know what I'm saying? Shit, four, four five months later. <laughs> I mean, I'm in Texas. I ain't even in Milwaukee no more. Bro. I moved to Texas. G shit. <clears throat> my 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 uh my God pops. I call him my God pops. You know, one of my mentors. He sent me a picture of her. G talking about she's disgusted that she had a baby with him do you think that she can ever get my time of day ever in life she'll never get the time of day from for me again ever 
did it hurt me mm, not really because i ain't had kids with the bitch you know i i used to always wonder why dudes would go such in rage mode when they find out their baby mama doing shit bro but now i understand because Bitch, you ain't just doing this to me. You're doing this to the kids. Now that I'm I'm getting more mature and I'm getting older, I'm realizing why dudes really be heated. And now I see why dudes be making fun of dudes. Like, yeah, man, fuck your baby mama. Like, I see why dudes do it. And for Andrew Wiggins, it's so unfortunate for Andrew Wiggins to be in this situation, bro, because he's such a great basketball player. And... um. I really feel like if, if if these rumors are true, I'm just going to say this. They don't have Instagram pictures up on IG at all. They, no Instagram pictures is up. If they take a break or they break up or what have you, bro, the rumors are true. Because I'm going to tell you this. If a woman is really defending her man, she ain't just going to say nothing like um, the world is sick. Man, if she really defending her man, if she really serious, man, the world is sick. I ain't never cheated on that man. That's my rock. That's my man. I stand by him. He, these kids is his, all of his, with a picture of her and him kissing, or a picture of her kissing him with the two daughters. Nah, G. See, when you leave a motherfucker out the loop for you know about thirty days, sixty days, man, motherfuckers get to assume it. Now, the first three letters is assume is ass. You can make an ass out of yourself, but at the same time, G, when 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 the mouth is closed and he ain't, they're not talking and they're not expressing what's going on. The fans and the supporters gonna man, we gonna want to know what's up. Just like when you know certain shit don't release right, man, man, what's going on, bro? What's going on? And rumors gonna start to happen unless somebody speak up. She spoke up, but she spoke up half assed. She spoke up half ass, and I ain't saying even if she would have spoke up, you know, with her chest out like I just explained, then maybe she could still be lying. But it would perceive her as telling the truth. It would perceive her as not hiding nothing. But now that tweet, just my see, just by me seeing that tweet, and my spidey senses is tingling. My 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 spidey senses is tingling. It's saying it, it, it's giving it's giving deflection to vibes. It's giving. Oh, I'm about to get vibes that's what i'm getting from that that's what i'm getting from that it's not giving it sincerely of i'm sorry vibes or it's not giving it sincerely of don't fuck with my man vibes he's i'm not like that i'm not one of these hoes it's giving more 304 i am one of these hoes kind of vibes so th 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 this is a huge 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 situation that he's dealing with and like i said steve kerr and the warriors you know what i'm saying coaching staff said that he's dealing with family issues there's only two kind of family issues you can deal with my nigga unless y'all got some more put it in the comments but it's either a death or some ptsd relationship yeah that fucks with a man's mental that fuck with a man mental I mean, hell, look at Russell Wilson. Three, four, five years ago, Russell Wilson was considered one of the top five, top three quarterbacks in the league. We had like the you had like the big five. You know what I'm saying? You got you had Aaron Rodgers, my bad, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson. Then you could interchange with Russell and Drew Brees. Then you could take out take out Drew Brees. Put put um I can't remember like the top three or four. But like uh quarterbacks was at that time um Mahomes you could put Mahomes in there you know what I'm saying like 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 <laughs> Russell Wilson was cold he actually won a Super Bowl but the over the course of these two three four years bro haven't really been performing right what do you think that's about y'all you see y'all got it fucked up you know how when you in high school and you riding your coach bus, right? And you go to the game and you're in warm-ups and you get off the coach bus and you go and 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 you 
you go back home to your school and then you go back to the crib you know you got to still take a shower eat talk to your hoes etc 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 right talk to your family you're still a human being at the end of the day you still have feelings and emotions regardless of how tall you are how good you are at basketball so then on a college level now it's the same thing but it's just, it's just a more luxury right now you're getting interviews in front of espn and shit like that still gotta go home text your hoes go home eat go watch film etc cetera, etc cetera. still gotta deal with real people problems then when you get to the nba nigga do you think it stops <laughs> do you niggas think it stops you, like for real bro do y'all think like the, the human like nigga they can feel when niggas get fired hey when they get fired they can feel that shit bro that's why they screaming because they want the ref to know nigga he hacked the shit out of me they're still human bro right after the press conference games right after uh, i mean right after the press conference they still got to go home to their families and when something has been good for the last 15 years and shit get bad bro it's hard as fuck to get out that mental rut i promise you it's like bleeding blue pill for the last 15 years and then all of a sudden the red pill comes it's it's, it's kind of a rooted awakening bro to, to 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 escape from that it's hard as fuck so you know what i'm saying i'm keeping man andrew wiggins in my prayers man don't forget to like this video fellas comment subscribe i love back at your boy man